Hey guys, it's your girl Jess and I'm back with another video. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hey guys, it's your girl Jess and I'm back with another video. Now, I've had a few people ask me to record how I lay my wigs, put them on, whatever you want to call it. So, I just picked up a new wig from my hairstylist um, yesterday afternoon. So, I wanted to install it. It's a 5x5, five five, it's a 5x5 five five closure, lace closure, which means it's going to, the, the, um, the only part that I have to glue down is from here to here about. Um, I kind of like the 5x5s five five better because it's not as much work as the 13x4 which is from ear to ear. I'm not good at laying down my wigs. It might look that way but I'm really not good guys. I'm really not good but I, and even now I hope this comes out perfect because listen but anyways I'm gonna tag my hairstylist be below. Her name is Hair by Ming. I've been going to her for about three years now going on four years now. I have like five wigs from her her work is perfect. Um, I paid $2.75 for my wig. No, I'm sorry. $2.95 for my wig. Um, I provided the hair and stuff. I wanted to get like curly hair for the summer, so I got this curly hair. I, w I was dying to get hair like this. I had hair like this before from Kendra's Hair Boutique, and I wasn't really feeling it. I don't care how y'all feel. A lot of people say like her hair is good, blah, blah, blah. Me personally, I did not like the curly hair. Like I literally installed it twice, if I'm not mistaken. And I never wore it ever again. Um, and I think it cost me $500 because I had to get a lot of bundles. The thing with curly hair, you have to get a lot of bundles because it's just, it's thin and it's curly and it's long. So you have to get a lot of bundles. But anyways, guys, let me shut up. So what I have on my head right now, it's a stocking cap. Um, like literally stockings that you put on your leg. So I get these knee highs from my local corner store. It's just 99 cents. And obviously I use one and I put it over my head. I'm not going to lie, you guys. My head feels like it's about to pop right now. Like this is so tight. But yeah, you're going to need um, got to be ultra gel glue, um, rubbing alcohol, there's got to be spray, and bolt hold. Bolt hold. And I'm missing something. This hair band right here to hold down your closure or your front or whatever it is. So I actually already use these two. I use them already. I yeah, if you follow me on Instagram, you know back in March when quarantine first started, um, I cut my hair. And the reason why I cut my hair is because I got silk presses um after not putting heat to my hair in a very 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 long time so it kind of damaged my hair like i would wash my hair and it would be straight as if i had a perm and i haven't gotten a perm in over three or four years um and that's not how to me i feel like my hair wasn't healthy so i was like you know what i'm gonna start fresh i went to the barber i said shave this whole thing off take it off off and he was like you sure i was like i'm more than sure shave it off so he shaved my head off i'll probably post a picture and show you guys how my hair looked um he shaved it off i'm not ready to show people how i look with my haircut i'm not that confident or whatever but um yeah so he shaved my hair off and um it's been growing like i'm really happy with the growth from march to now like i'm really excited that my hair grew this much and I'm, i feel like i should have cut my hair a long time ago but anyway so i already put the kneecap on and i had to stretch it out with my hand because it's tight so I stretch it out and now I'm going to just pull it over my ear because you need to stretch it out as possible. Guys, I'm going to be looking into my mirror right here. So, so I'm going to put it right here. Oh my God. I'm going to put it right here. So I'm only going to put here glue here because that's the only part I have to worry about. And what I'm going to do, so I learned this method from somebody on Instagram, this lady on Instagram. She, um, no, I'm sorry, on YouTube. She had posted how to do the ball cap method. And this whole time, I used to spray this first right here. But she actually put this first and let it melt. And I've been liking how it looks, so that's what I'm going to do. Let me take my earrings off because it's hurting me. It's hurting me. All right, boom. Guys, I have my window open because I'm hot. I have to turn off my fan because I'm recording. You guys probably wouldn't be able to hear me. I don't even know if you guys can hear me now. If when I'm done recording, you guys can't hear me, I'm going to be a little upset. But anyways, guys, so, so yeah, I'm going to start. So first, I'm just going to take some glue. 
gonna take some glue, my bolt hold. Take my bolt hold. I have the bigger bottle, but and I also ordered this. Um, so I'm just gonna pull this down because it needs to be as sheer as possible. I don't know if you guys can see that. It needs to be as sheer as possible, so I'm just gonna put it right here. And then I'm gonna take my rat tail comb and I'm just gonna like massage it in and make sure that it looks clear. Like I don't want it to look too heavy because I'm gonna do another coat. So I'm gonna make sure it's not too much. to take my blow dryer and put it on a cool setting and dry this until this is clear. dried and basically transparent I would say um I'm going to do layer two now guys this glue gets so tacky it's literally annoying like annoying to me and another thing I like to do is I spray and I wipe this down because I don't like too much glue on here you know but anyways we're gonna do layer two I think I'm going to do three layers. I don't know. guys i'm going to do one more coat just for the hell of it i'm so happy that this is a five by five and not the whole thing because i really struggle with putting on a whole 13 by 4. I really, really struggle. y'all see that transparente whatever i be making up words i really be making up words all right so now what a sister is about to do is start to cut first things first i'm gonna cut is this thing over here Cha -bang! garbage right, guys now i've cut and i also just made a little knot in the back i'm going to make a hole right here right here guys i'm actually doing the same i should have took off both earrings you know i really should have took off both earrings because now it's in my bra it's in my bra guys i cannot wait to cut this off my head because i look crazy 
Okay. So I'm gonna cut a hole in there. And then I'm gonna cut a hole here because I'm tired of looking crazy and it's tight. Next, I'm gonna cut a hole in the ear again. And then I'm going to go around. And then I'm gonna cut down. See guys, if I was doing a full frontal, all this would have been glued. So I'm basically showing you guys the same steps. Okay, now that that's cut, oh I thought I cut this side. We cut this side, that side. Now I'm going to cut everywhere. Let me zoom in for you babies. I'm gonna cut everywhere. As you can see, these little parts are sticking up. So now what I'm going to do is take the end of my comb. Again, wait, let me clean it off first. I'm going to take the end of my rat tail comb. And I'm going to lay all those down with the same glue once I find it. <laughs> once I find it. I'm going to take a little bit on the back of my comb and I'm going to be putting a little bit here just so this could be laid down. I'm actually mixing um, my got to be glue I'm mixing my got to be glue and the bold hold so I could lay those little hairs down real quick So it's this curly wig here. This curly wig. Thought it would be great for summer. So now we're gonna put the wig on. guys it's on all right guys I'm just gonna leave these two parts out and then I'm gonna tie down the rest before I tie it down I'm actually gonna spray a little bit of this got to be spray like right where the part is at and now I'm going to tie it down I'm 
I'm tying it as tight as I can. All right, guys. Now I'm gonna take more of my mousse because I look like a, a, a lion or something right about now. So we about to fix that with some mousse. I actually need to get my gel. It's really far right now. But I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it, guys. Don't worry. I'm gonna get this gel. Okay guys, I had to get this gel by Auntie Jackie's. It's flaxseed recipes, don't shrink. Um, this is the gel that I'm using. So I'm gonna just take a little bit. I'm also gonna add some more. I hope I have enough mousse. I meant to get one today. All right, guys, I'm holding this to the side because obviously, like, I look crazy. But, um, so after I put the Don't Shrink Gel in by Aunt Jackie's and the Nairobi Wrapping Mousse, which is basically done, um, I'm going to take this head wrap off now to see how I'm finna lay these baby hairs, guys. I really am not good with laying baby hairs, so please... It's just don't come for me, y'all. Please, I'm just really begging y'all. Don't come for me now. Let me stop. But, um, let me work some magic. My hairstylist told me to use the got to be glue, so that's what I'm going to do. Oh my god, this is stuck. I'm literally getting choked by this headband. Oh my god. Oh, boom, there we go. I gotta be a little, ooh, a little rough sometimes. I'm actually, I lied. I'm gonna blow dry it first a little bit on cool air again. wig down a little bit all right honestly i'm tired of looking at myself like this i'm gonna comb this out i look crazy but i'm gonna comb out push those hairs back let it set begin to explain to you guys how much of a hassle it was to record no not to record to do my baby hairs i was really struggling like that's why i just cut the camera off and plus my camera was dying so i cut the camera off so i'm now recording on my phone if things look a little different a little shaky 
this whole video i really just wanted to record um doing my hair but i'm gonna just do my makeup too let's jump like, right in um i'm not gonna really talk too much because y'all already seen how i do my makeup i might talk a little bit i might think of something to talk about how about how about that all right i'm actually gonna talk about something guys i got my nose pierced today can y'all see got my nose pierced today it hurt a little bit let me use this damn mirror it hurt a little bit but it wasn't too bad guys i'm so hot because i got this hair on my back this why i'd rather stay with my bald head because it's just hot bro it's hot speaking of i gotta find my sandals not that i'm really gonna be outside or anything but y'all already know what i'm doing and why i'm doing it so i'm not gonna get into it um yeah but yeah guys i got my nose pierced today and um am i serious right now like, did that really just happen? Thank God I got another one, so I'm not gonna even get up. Like, I'm not gonna even get up. All right, guys, so I set my eyebrows with the powder. Another thing I'm gonna do is go in with my Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer. Um, I've seen a makeup artist do that, do this, so I was like, let me give this a try. This is actually not my first time doing it. My first time on camera, but I've been doing it like period so yeah i'm gonna put that on my eyebrows it's it's a mattifying i said that already but i'm gonna say it again it's mattifying so i'm gonna put a little bit i put very little and it's basically gonna like hold my brows together and i'm gonna go back in with a little bit of powder again Then I'm going to brush out my eyebrows. I'm gonna let them dry a little bit. Guys, I've heard people talk about like, when they get their nose pierced, like it's very like sensitive and like it falls out a lot. I see what they're talking about because I forgot I had it. And I had um, almost like I was rubbing my nose and I was like, oh snap, my lips are so dry. So I'm about to put something on my lip. I'm not gonna lie guys, now that I got my camera, I miss like having my phone in my hands, you know what I'm saying? But it's okay. This camera actually blows minds. I feel like it dies so fast. Like I charged it a few days ago and I didn't even touch it since then. So I don't understand why is it dying? Like why? Why are you dying camera? Yo, I got my eyebrows done. I think it's a month now. And thank God. Well, the lady OD waxed the shit out of my eyebrows. It was nothing left. But I was going to say that I'm shocked that it's it, like it grew back, but not how it would have grew back if she didn't wax as much off. Because normally, I literally have to do my eyebrows every two weeks. Because my eyebrows grow so fast. So fast. I'm not going to lie. I wish the hair on my head grew that fast. Like, why do I have to be bold? Why? Why couldn't the hair on my, on my head grow that fast?
y'all i'm i don't know what the hell i'm doing to my brows right now but they look a little crazy but that's nothing a little concealer right, can't we fix gotta clean these brows up yo i'm growing a unibrow y'all i hate being hairy i really hate it 